Hey guys, this is Dave from Bad Wild Outdoors. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking to my friend and neighbor Rich about the new crossbow he got, uh, and then I'll be comparing it to my own crossbow. Uh, but before we start the video, uh, I'd really like to ask you a big favor. If everyone who's watching this video could please click the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel, it would really help us out a lot. Hey guys, this is Dave from Bad Blood Outdoors. This is Rich. Um, he just got his new Excalibur crossbow. Uh, he's going to show us um, all about it and tell us what he thinks. Thanks for watching. All right, so first of all, Rich, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what kind of hunting you do? Uh, mostly deer hunting. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, I do like small game hunting too, yeah. but deer hunting. And um, have you used firearms or just um, archery? I never shot a deer with a gun yet. <laughs> okay. And um, have you used crossbow before? This is my first crossbow. So you use what, like a compound? Uh, I went from compound bow to recurve bow to long bow to self bow, making right. my own bows. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I just can't do it anymore. Yeah. So what got you? What what made you decide to get a crossbow? Because I'm disabled now. So yeah. uh, so the big thing is uh, I have a lot of back problems and leg problems. Right. So uh, and then pulling uh, shooting uh, to be consistent, it, it, I, I was losing it. So um, I, this was the next best option. Yeah. Which uh, which um, Excalibur crossbow did you get? I got the uh, Excalibur Assassin Extreme. Um, I got this at a Dunkelberg's uh, Sporting Goods in uh, Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. Oh, all right. And when you went there, were you were you looking for this specific model? I already kind of did my shopping online for a while. So if I was going to be committed to buying a crossbow, I want uh, one that is for me. Right. And uh, I felt this one's for me because uh, any recurve crossbow, you could do a lot more maintenance on your own where you're not glued to the sporting goods store. Right. Or glued, or, or, or uh, you know, like it's less, uh, you could do maintenance basically yourself. Right. Well, I guess the, uh, I guess the big question then is how much, <laughs> how much did you spend on this one? So all together with the bow and to, to be fully functional for hunting, and all the accessories, I'd say uh, about 1500 bucks. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I guess let's go over uh, what came with it. Sure. So, uh, well, the bow itself. Yeah. The scope. Um, the crank. Um, Which we're going to, um, we're going to show some video of how the crank works. And, uh... That's pretty much it, and then came all the accessories. Right. Did after. the sling come with it? No, the sling did not. I bought okay. the sling. The sling. And then um, I bought the bag. Okay. So. Which, which is good for local use. Yeah. If I have, if I'm going to be doing any trips with it, I'm going to invest in a uh, a hard case. Right. Right. Uh, this is the string. Uh, this is the tool used to restring the bow yourself. Oh wow! We're gonna have to. Uh... Yeah, I still have to learn about it yeah. myself. So. <laughs> That'll be that'll be an interesting video. This is the strap that came with the. That's for the crank. Right. Um, so far, I don't know what to think of it. Uh, I haven't been using it. Right. And then the 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 crank itself, once you're done using, has its own storage uh, slot. So I, I I'm happy with just that. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I, I need don't know. to. My philosophy is less is better. So. Yep. If you, don't, um, if you don't need it, don't use it. This is very helpful. Um, this is a this is a, a, a two in one tool. So what this does is it helps you get your arrows out out of a out of a, a stiff target when, right. you, um, especially when if you shot more than two bolts or three bolts and you're doing well right. shooting that they're so close that it's so hard to get them out. Yeah. So this helps pull the arrow uh, the, can... the bolts out of the target yeah. and then also it's a wrench to turn your lighted knocks on, which um, oh, that's um. Okay. I have not experimented with it yet, but I will. Yeah. But basically, this would hook onto here, and you twist, and it turns. Uh, is that like actually specific for? Yes. These? Oh, yes. Okay. But yeah, or, or Luminoc makes this. Right, right, right. But it's uh, but it's this, but it, it it's it's uh, compatible. Yeah. With this, 
And um, so I'll, and I'm, I'll explore this later on yeah. as, as the as the time goes. But they're these, probably expensive. You don't want to. Yeah, these you are. You don't want to lose those. About ninety bucks. Yeah, yeah, them, yeah so. I believe it. <laughs> but they're sixteen inch bolts. Oh so yeah, I, I shoot sixteen inch. Sixteen bolts. inch. All right. And those are um, crossbow specific. Yes. Bolts too, right? Yes. The, yeah, and then um, I uh, you were you pointed it out earlier that uh, my knocks are different. Yeah, too. yeah. I'm gonna show. Yeah, the knocks on these bolts are different. I'll show a picture, picture of them up on the screen. All right. So on the bow, you have a couple of these are the the silencers, I guess. Yeah, string, string dampeners, dampeners. dampeners. Comes with a scope. Yep. Is there anything? You're telling me is there like a a lighting like it does it light up or something? Yes, the scope does light up. I could either go green or red. Green or red, yeah. So I think mine does that too. It's also got an anti dry fire yeah. mechanism yeah. too, so you, it won't fire unless mm -hmm. the bolt's in there. Right. Um, Safety's over here. It's just that yep. blue latch, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. And then it's also ambidextrous too, so yeah. um, I could totally take the, the quiver, unscrew it from the bottom here, and put it on the other side. That's handy. And then yeah. even the crank is ambidextrous, so on oh. both sides. Oh, yeah, that's And cool. it even has this, yeah. so I could, if I was left-handed, right. I could store my crank in the... Right, right, right. In that side and crank from this side right. as well. That's handy. That's, it stores there, too. You don't have to... It's one less thing to lose. Yep. So we're, we're going to show a little video of um, using the cock and crank, um, but just, you know, in words, tell me a little bit about it or what, what you think about it. I, um, so I'm very new to the whole, uh, I'm very new to the crossbows period. Yeah. And, um, as I previously said, I, I wanted a recurve crossbow because of the, that it's, uh, that I could handle most of the maintenance myself. Um, so I, from reading the instruction manual, and then actually applying all the fundamentals to use the crank properly. It took a little bit getting used to, but now I got it down pat. So yeah. I, I I think the crank is a, a blessing. Yeah, trust me, I know all about the learning curve. Yeah, for that. yeah, it was a learning curve, but I um, overall I think it's a blessing. And um, uh, and not only that, it's very silent. So like the, this crank system is uh, very very quiet, which yeah. is very stealth. Yeah, what yeah. I think you would need. Well, that's ideal for hunting. Yeah. For sure. So um, but I, I, other than Going through the learning curve, but once I got it down, I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, so we're going to go to the range in just a little bit, um, and you'll, you know, we'll show some video of that. So what we do here is I just have to take a little pressure to put it on release. All right, and then I just put that to the side. And crank. Safe too. <laughs> Dead there. <laughs> I didn't bring I should have brought that. <laughs> um, you'll see when you use my scope, it's different. So. Okay. On our channel, we have a few videos uh, covering the 10 point Titan M1, um, which is what I'm currently using. Um, so I'm just going to briefly talk about it. Um, just so that we can compare it to Rich's new Excalibur. So the Titan M1, um, like all 10 points, is a uh, compound bow, a crossbow, uh, unlike the Excalibur. Um, 
This I got this one in a camo pattern. I'm not sure exactly what that pattern is, but it's you know it's not a solid color. So it comes with a uh, a quiver. This is the quiver mount. Um, it actually started on this side, so I guess you say it's ambidextrous. Um, it's more comfortable for me on this side, so that's where I put it. Now the uh, the actual quiver itself only holds three bolts, uh, which is not awesome, but that's what it holds. So for 10-point crossbows, you have to use special bolts. They're 20 inches. Um, they have half-moon uh, shaped um, knocks, and uh, there's a special little kind of bump that uh, supposedly uh, helps improve accuracy. Uh, it does come with a scope. It's a 50 yard scope. Um, there's markings at 20, 30, 40, and 50. Um, and it does light up green or red if um, you choose to do so. So my crossbow came with um, the AccuDraw cocking system. Um, I have multiple videos showing this, but I will um, include a clip um, of me uh, using it really quick. So this crossbow cost me about $850 uh, with the included accessories. I also um, bought extra a sling um, and a soft-sided case. Oh yeah. There's a there's a quieter way to do it, but this is you know, doing it the safe way is with the thing on. I guess now I'll see if it's me or if it's the crossbow. All right, so I have confirmation. My crossbow is, is good. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so that was Rich shooting. <laughs> so he's a better shot than me. Anyway, so I need practice. So we went over the Excalibur and 10 point crossbows. Um, it's not totally a fair comparison because they're not really in the same price point. Uh, but you can't go wrong either way. Uh, did want to go over a few points of com comparison um, that you might want to think about. So first of all, the Excalibur does have a little bit more speed um, at 400 feet per second, whereas the 10 point has, you know, shoots at 370 feet per second. For the most part, I really do like the scope um, for the Excalibur better. Um, it actually uh, shows the the distance. Um, in the scope as opposed to the 10 point scope which just has uh, lines in it. The 10 point on the other hand is a little bit lighter about a pound um, but honestly having shot both of them I really didn't notice a, you know the difference. The 10 point is definitely narrower um, if you're going to be in confined spaces and that's a factor. Um, there's a you know pretty noticeable difference in that case, and it's cocked or uncocked, it's narrower. Actually, I think the, the difference cocked is even greater. One thing that I don't like about the 10 point um, is the quiver. It's actually only a three a three bolt quiver. Um, I don't quite understand why they made it so small. Another obvious difference is that the 10 point is a compound crossbow, whereas the 
uh, Excalibur is a recurve bow. Um, as Rich said, this might make for um, easier and more self-sufficient maintenance uh, for the Excalibur. Probably the biggest difference between the two crossbows in my mind um, comes into play with the cock and crank, which they both do have. So right off the bat, that I would say that makes them both quality crossbows. Um, however, the uh, the ten point is n noticeably loud, and it really is kind oh, of yeah. a factor is a, is a uh, when way to cocking it, it. Is... Um, when you're actually out in the in the field hunting. Um, I do always feel like I'm going to spook a deer before I even get started. Um, the Excalibur crank, on the other hand, is really quiet. Um, they both take about the same amount of effort to, uh, to use. Um, so I definitely prefer the uh, Excalibur version of that. The only thing I do prefer about it regarding the 10-point is that... If you look, it actually stores underneath, which does not get in the way at all. Um, whereas with the Excalibur, it's on the side, which, I mean, if you just put it on the correct side, it won't get in the way, but you do have to make sure you do that because when I shot it, it was on my shooting hand and it felt like it was in the way. But if you put it on this side, it probably isn't a big deal. Another factor, which we, we haven't shown in this video, but Rich tells me that um, there's actually a way to decock the crossbow without having to shoot the bolt. So in other words, if you're hunting and you don't shoot anything, you can just decock the, the uh, crossbow. You don't have to carry around a little uh, target to shoot into. Um, he tells me that when he figures, figures out how to do this, he's going to show me and we can make another video on that. Um, but it sounds like a really great idea. Um, and that, that could be a factor in which crossbow to purchase as well.